As usual with the mortgage and real estate environment that we are in today, there is some good news and some bad news, or as I like to say, some good news and some not so good news. In either case, there's some interesting changes that are coming right up. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Ron Morris. This is Moving Forward TV, your local real estate and mortgage update. And I am Dylan Guest, and we are glad you're with us today. In today's show, we're gonna cover FHA concessions. Short sale changes coming up. <laughs> and also, home sales are up. And maybe underwriting getting a little easier? Okay, the first item we'd like to talk about is FHA concessions. Basically, how much the seller can pay. It's been 6% forever. Ever. And we've been warned for quite some time that they're going to lower it down to 3%. I believe an FHA news release recently. news release just came out, getting that word out there, <laughs> just came out and basically said it's getting ready to come out. Of course, they have not given us a date on nope. it, but it's going to be more like industry standards, which as most of us know in Fannie and Freddie world, right. that's 3%. So expect soon, and of course, we'll let everybody know when we get a firm date on that, the FHA concession right now is 6%. It's going to be 3% very soon. Okay, we also have some short sale rule changes that are coming up. Not so much rule changes, but ah. and in how things are processed, but it's definitely going to make some changes to the consumer. By the end of 2012, right now the way it stands is you are allowed to walk away from your home. If you are underwater on your home and it's your primary residence, the IRS is not coming after you for the deficiency. That all changes effective January 1st, 2013. 2013. So you only have this year. So if you are considering short selling your house or you've been trying to work on a loan mod and it doesn't seem to be working and you're starting to like, you know, lose it here, you definitely want to get into that short sale as soon as possible. Put the house on the market and sell it as quickly as you can um, so that you can, you won't get hit with that tax. And, and really, let's look at what that means to the consumer. Right now, they sell that home they're moving on. Right. You know, they're moving on. Everything's good, so to speak. After 2012, 2013, that same owner, same homeowner sells that home. They're $100,000 upside down. They're going to be harassed for up to 20 years from collection agencies, from anybody trying to recoup that $100,000, and they're going to be taxed on it. So, I mean, it is a night and day scenario from 2012 to 2013. So if you have some sellers out there, or if you're a homeowner out there contemplating whether it's now's the time to do this, you need to do it this year, now's or you're time. gonna feel those ramifications for many, many years afterwards. We promised you good news too. Ron, what's our good news? We have very good news, very encouraging news about values and inventory, and let's touch base with that. January 2011, right out a year ago, the median sale price in the Tampa Bay area was $110,000. Fast forward to today, a year later, January 2012, it's 157. Yay. So it's up substantially from 110 to 157 in a year. So that means we're at the bottom. The Times, the newspaper tells us that we're at the bottom and they never lie, these newspapers. <laughs> so I'm sleep. sure this is true. So we've definitely hit the bottom. Another very, very encouraging thing is inventory. We've talked about inventory on and off for, for the better part of a year now. Actually, in Hillsborough County, the inventory peaked at 25 months. I can't imagine that. 25 months of inventory. You guys remember that. In, in Hillsborough County. Now, today, we're slightly under six, under six months inventory, which is considered a normal, healthy market. So, values are up. Inventory is down. If you're Life thinking of buying, <laughs> you need to buy now. <laughs> Okay, and our last piece of good news is our interest rates. Interest rates are very low. We all already know that, right? And they just came out and said two more years of low rates. They're going to stay low. They're going to try and keep them as low as they can. So what does that mean? Well, kind of bad news for the banks. It means that the <laughs> banks are making less money. It doesn't bother us, does it? Not us. <laughs> Good for the consumer. With the interest rates being so low, the banks are making less money. So play this out in your mind a little bit. What does that mean? How are the banks going to keep their profits up? I know, I know. Ron? Volume. <laughs> Volume. Make more loans. The only way out is to make more loans. If we have to keep the rates as low as they are, which we all love, they're going to have to make up the difference in volume. That means they're going to be writing more loans. So we're hoping 
easing up on guidelines a little bit to get things out there, some of the new government programs that we're hoping sure. to have some more information on in the next few weeks. And um, we'll keep you posted. Yeah, that's pretty much our show this week. As always, if you have any questions about anything we've talked about or anything financing related at all, reach out to us. You can call us. They can right. call us. Call. Actually, you can make a way. phone call. You can email us. You can <laughs> text. tweet us. You can text us. There's a lot of ways to reach us, but reach out to us, please. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate all of your support and your comments. Subscribe over here if you're watching the show for the first time. Remember, forward it out. We are on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, <laughs> LinkedIn, all of those things. So I hear. <laughs> we are today and every day. Moving forward. We'll see everybody next week. Bye-bye.